Hey there, welcome back to Rims English. I hope you are watching my other videos also. If the videos are helping you, please let me know in the comment section. If you have requests for any other topic, please let me know also. I'll try to make video on that particular topic. Today we have reading practice. When you are reading, it is very important to focus on pronunciation and punctuation marks because punctuation marks make your sentences meaningful. So let's start. It was raining heavily. It was dark, very dark. I stepped outside slowly. By the road, there was a hole. I was about to fall into it. But she screamed from behind. Careful, there's a hole ahead. Can't you see? I stopped there and murmured. I really couldn't see. Why couldn't I see? Have I become blind? I must have missed something. Finally, I realized I didn't take my glasses. That's why I couldn't see at all. Now, let me show how we are using the punctuation marks. It was raining heavily. This is a complete sentence. There is a full stop given, so we have to stop there. It was dark, very dark. Here, there is a comma given, so we have to give a pause. And after that, at the end of the sentence, we have to stop. I stepped outside slowly. Here again, full stop given. That means it is a meaningful sentence. So we have to stop after this. By the road, there was a hole. Here, comma given. So we are giving a little pause. And after hole, there is a full stop. So we have to stop there. I was about to fall into it. There is a comma. So we will give a pause. But she screamed from behind. Here you are starting a speech written inside the quotation mark. So we have to give a pause here. Then careful. This is giving a kind of alarm or warning. That's why we are using exclamation sign. There's a hole ahead. So there's means there is. It is the contraction form. And ahead there is a Full stop given. So we have to stop. Can't you see? So can not. The contraction form is can't. We have to say can't. We cannot tell it cannot. Can't you see? It is question mark. So it is asking question. That's why there should be interrogation in your tone. I stopped there and murmured. There is again comma given. And we are starting the speech. That means when I was talking to myself. So before starting the speech, I have to give a pause. I really couldn't see. It is again exclamation sign. That means surpriseness and couldn't. Couldn't is the contraction of could not. So we have to say couldn't. We cannot tell could not. Why couldn't I see? It is asking question. So the tone must have the interrogation. Here again, we are getting couldn't, not could not. Have I become blind? It is asking questions. So there should be interrogative tone. I must have missed something. Full stop given, so I have to stop here. Finally, comma given, so there will be a pause. I realized, again comma. That means we have to give another pause here. I didn't take my glasses. So, didn't is the contraction form of did not. We cannot tell did not. We have to say didn't as it is given in the sentence. After the glasses, there is full stop given. That means I have to stop here. That's why comma. So, that is together that's the contraction form. That's why. So, after the comma, I have to give a pause. I couldn't see at all. Here again, couldn't. That means could not. But we have to pronounce it as couldn't. And after the full stop, we have to stop as the sentence is finishing here. So everyone, I hope you're clear 
about the reading strategy. When we are reading, we have to focus on the pronunciation, tone of the voice, and the punctuation mark to make it completely meaningful. Keep practicing reading yourself. See you in the next video. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.